coming up on My Big Fat Pet Makeover. That's a big chihuahua. Like the Mack truck of chihuahuas, right? He's so heavy, I need to put him down. OK. Wow. How much are they feeding this cat? Her main problem is she's just too fat. But this is a very serious situation. Across the country, pet owners are facing an epidemic in their own homes, a crisis affecting more than half our nation's pets, obesity. Wow. I'm Travis Brorson, professional dog trainer and pet expert. Yay. I believe everything has to work together to make a healthy pet. I look at lifestyle. She lays down while she eats. Behavioral problems. Are you kidding me? And general well-being. <laughs> but getting the owners on board That's a lot. isn't always easy. Are you guys messing with me on that amount of food? It's my job to educate them right here. and empower their pets. I can do this. I'm on a mission to help these big pets make big changes oh. because we owe them the happiest and healthiest lives they can have. This is my Big Fat Pet Makeover. I'm Rick Jernigan. And I'm Valerie Jernigan, and we have a cat named Bow Nugget. <laughs> Everyone that comes into our home, they're like, wow, your cat's larger than your dog. And we're like, yeah, that's right. There's Bow Nugget. Here's little Boomer. You want some chicken? Bow Nugget loves to eat. He loves <laughs> food. And he's constantly crying and telling me that he's hungry and he wants some more food. So I give it to him. I'm afraid if he gets much bigger, he won't be able to fit through his pet door. He is constantly after me for food. If I don't fill his bowl up at night, he comes to our bedroom door and he paws on it all night long but, and keeps me awake. But I think that he knows that when he bugs you, you'll go feed him. But if he bugs me, I won't feed him. So he doesn't bug me. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Bone Nugget is, he's a very happy cat. Why wouldn't he be? He's got a great life. All he has to do is eat and sleep, right? He's huge. I don't think he weighs that much. Bone Nugget is a part of our family. We love him and he loves us and he's just a great asset to our family. It sounds like Rick and Valerie are confused about who's in charge. I feel like Bo's running the show here. I need to get them on track. This is Bo Nugget. Oh, that's a supersized nugget. He is supersized. He's so heavy. I need to put him down. OK. Wow. Bo Nugget is huge. For a cat that's a healthy weight, the abdomen should tuck in at the waist, and you should be able to feel but not see the ribs. Bo is clearly overweight. He has a large belly and no visible waist. We don't know how to help him lose weight. I mean, if we don't feed him as much as he's used to eating, he makes life miserable. What are some of the things that he... He, he would keep me up all night. He would be scratching on my bedroom door, wanting me, and he wouldn't stop until I got up and fed him. So he has you trained? <laughs> I guess so. That's the way I would say it, yeah. Is it, are we on the same page? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I had cats all of my life, and they all self-monitored. Yeah. So. And, and Bo doesn't. No. So if Bo doesn't self-monitor, whose job would it be to help him self-monitor? <laughs> it could be you, too. Yeah, but I'm not here all the time. And you always, you're the one that always feeds Bo. I guess so. I think Valerie knows that it's up to her to regulate Bo's food, but she's so worried about him rebelling. I need to help her change this. Well, well, hello there. <laughs> Speaking of Bo. Speaking of. I mean, maybe he's hungry. He might be hungry. <laughs> he might. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably hungry because he's always hungry. <laughs> The thing I've learned from years of doing this is that when it comes to obesity, the pet is rarely the problem. So when I'm asking about the pet, what I'm really trying to find out is, what are these people doing that's causing the problem? OK, so Bo Nugget, yeah? he eats inside the kayaks. That's his buffet space. That's his buffet space. So Bo can get from the floor to here. Oh, yeah. He can. Yeah. But I will I will admit that some mornings when he's begging for his food, I actually do pick him up and put him in the kayak. Oh. You do? I do. I didn't know that. <laughs> OK, let's okay. see how much we okay, put in OK, so there. what I do is I come out in the morning, and he's very hungry. Okay. And he gets the big green cup full. OK. And we completely fill up the bowl. OK. And that is how he gets to eat. Okay. 
So I leave food in the bowl all the time. Okay. So then how long will it take him to eat that? He could actually go through it in 12 hours, I okay. think. All right, so this would be his morning feeding. That's his morning feeding. And then you do one more? I do one more in the evening because I don't want him awaking me in the middle of the night for food. All right, so in one day, we're looking at something like that for Mr. Bow Nugget. Probably. That's a lot. Probably be equivalent to about two birds, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about pheasant or turkey? Two ducks, maybe, or are yeah. are we talking about? <laughs> okay. no. I mean, you know. <laughs> what if I was to tell you that this was the proper amount for a cat that should be at his average weight per day? Wow, I think he would starve with that much. Bow Nuggets should be eating no more than one cup per day. Valerie has been feeding him at least four times that amount. That's not even the size of one bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just know that if he were living out in the wild, do you know how he many... would have to hunt for his food. Mm -hmm. So how hard does Bo hunt for his food? <laughs> He really That does. much. Mm -hmm. Let's go back in the house. Okay. There's no question that Bo Nugget is extremely overweight, but before I can set healthy goals for this family, we need to find out exactly what he weighs. Okay, so his head's down here, Rick. Buddy! Oh, hey, look at yeah. He's not gonna fit. He I don't that. think he's gonna, we can't zip, zip it. Up up is this for cats? Stay in it? Yep. This well, normal really size cats. cats. A healthy maximum weight for Bo Nugget would be 14 pounds. Mm. Good boy. Should we try right. to zip him in it? No, I think if he doesn't okay. want in, he'll get out. Okay. Hello, yeah. buddy. All right, let's see what Bo Nugget weighs. Wait. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Wow. <gasps> wow. Wow. A healthy maximum weight for Bo Nugget would be 14 pounds. Oh. Oh. Wow. 23.5 pounds. Wow. <laughs> wow. So he could be more than double. Oh. Just about. I think he's embarrassed and he wants to go hide. Oh, <laughs> OK, buddy. You knew he was overweight. Was it maybe just easier to, to not think about him? Just like with people, if Bonaga doesn't lose the weight, the health ramifications are serious. You know, everything from urinary tract infections to diabetes to osteoarthritis. I mean, the list goes on and on. I want him to be healthy. I want to have him in our family for a much longer time. I have one more thing. I think this is going to be an eye opener for you. All right. All right? Okay. All right, let's head this way. In order for Rick and Valerie to understand the severity of the situation, I really need to hammer home how much they're overfeeding Bo. I have a way to show them in terms they will definitely understand. If this pizza was the only thing you had to eat for an entire day, could you eat this whole pizza in one day? I actually think I could. So you worked on the first pizza. Let's say you finished it in the evening time. Could you eat another one? I might be able to have a bite of it. <laughs> oh, please. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So if you didn't have a shutoff valve and somebody gave you all of this in a day, you would eat them all. Who else in your family doesn't have a shutoff valve? Poor little bone nugget. Bo Nugget's portion was at least four times the amount of what he should be getting. This is the equivalent of what's happening to Bo every single day. That's sad. He must feel miserable. I mean, if I just had one of these and a couple of pieces of, of, of another one. But he doesn't act miserable. Of course, Maybe. he lays around all day. How do we know? When you feel miserable and you're sick, what do you do? I lay around all day. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. That makes me want to cry. I could be making Bo Nugget miserable instead of happy. Rick and Valerie obviously love Bo Nugget, but sometimes I have to use a little tough love, especially if they want their pet to live a healthy lifestyle. Bo Nugget 
wasn't really working for his food. So one of the solutions as part of the health and wellness plan that I'm gonna put together for Bo will be this really fun cat toy. He'll fill this with the food and this will be the actual portion he needs to be getting twice a day. And if Bo Nugget wants his food bad enough, he will bat this little ball around and the food will just come right out. That's a great idea. The other little tool I have for you is called a Fit Bark, but it works on cats. <laughs> it'll track the distance he walked, it'll track the calories he burned. This has an app to it, and whenever you sync it, I wow. get the information. Oh, wow. okay. The Fit Bark is gonna allow me to track his exercise. For Rick and Valerie, it's gonna hold them accountable, and it's gonna help them realize how little exercise Bo was ever getting. I have one more thing for you. I had a custom cat tree made to go on the wall that will help him work for his food. That's so exciting. And I'm really looking forward to next time I check in to see where we're at. Okay. Great? Okay. That's great. Excellent. Bow Nugget weighed in at 23 and a half pounds. To get him to a healthy four month target weight of 17 pounds, Rick and Valerie will have to restrict his feeding to one cup of food per day using just the food ball and cat tree to get Bow Nugget working for his food. They'll also need to track his exercise by using the Fit Bar. I'm excited about moving forward and trying to help Bow Nugget get healthy. I'm a little nervous about it because I'm afraid he might rebel, he might keep me up at night. I think Bow Nugget having his own tree house is gonna be great. I hope he'll get some good exercise climbing it. Hope we have it anchored well because he does weigh 23 and a half Oh pounds. no, that scares me. <laughs> I'm Madison Ingle. And I'm her mother, Lisa Ingle, and we have a chihuahua named Gracie. We got Gracie from a rescue about three years ago. She weighed a pound and a half. <laughs> we loved her a lot immediately. Gracie loves to eat. It's her favorite thing to do. When we feed her and the other dogs, she'll usually go and steal their food too. No, Gracie, no. She's so lovable, you cannot help but fall in love with her. She's like a little old lady inside a young dog's body. That's a perfect description. <laughs> we noticed Gracie was gaining weight about five months after we got her and started limping. She's had one knee replacement, but she can't have the second one until she loses more weight. It breaks my heart to see Gracie while all the other dogs are playing outside or playing with each other and she's not able to do anything. She's a young dog and she should be out running around. I feel that we are almost at a loss as to how to help Gracie. Nothing seems to help. She's a wonderful dog and she deserves the life that the rest of the dogs have. It's hard to put in words how much I love Gracie and it's really hard to see her the way she lives every day and I know she needs the help and I wanna help her. Gracie is probably one of the best dogs I've ever had. Most loving and very affectionate and I'm afraid if we don't get some help that we might lose her. Gracie has to lose weight before she can have the necessary surgery. She needs help fast. Hi. Hi. I'm Travis. Hi, Travis. I'm really looking forward to getting in there and seeing how I can help. Well, hello. You must be Gracie. That's Gracie. <laughs> wow, she's really cute. <laughs> I'm assuming she's Chihuahua, or what else can you tell me about her? We were told that she was a Chihuahua. A Chihuahua, yes. when you got her. OK. Because that's a, that's a big Chihuahua. Because <laughs> I mean, you yeah, like the Mack truck of Chihuahuas, right? I've seen a lot of obese pets in my life, but Gracie, she's top in the chart. We got her as a puppy. Okay. She was really active, really playful. And probably six months, we noticed that she was slowing down, limping, wasn't able to play anymore, okay. and kept getting bigger uh -huh. and bigger and bigger. My mom and I decided to take her to the vet, and he said that she had um, floating patellas. Gracie has a floating patella, which basically means her kneecap is floating outside of the socket it's supposed to sit in. It can cause a lot of pain and eventually lead to immobility if not fixed. They did the surgery on the, the first knee. They couldn't do both at the same time. They told me they could do the second knee after she lost between 10 and 15 pounds. And then that never happened? That never happened. Okay. She probably gained 10 or 15 pounds. <laughs> Gracie's in a sticky situation because she has the floating patella that's restricting her movement and making it hard for her to exercise. But if she doesn't exercise, she can't get the surgery to fix the floating patella. 
So it's really important that they help her lose the weight because it's possible she could get to a point where she can't walk at all. And so tell me about her exercise routine lately. I would try to walk once in the evening okay. just to get her out. And I couldn't take her down the driveway without her sitting down. Wow. And she's been that way for a while, and I would like her to be active and be able to play with me and the other dogs. You know, we want to be able to feel her ribs, but, I mean, she's just a chunk. None of the other dogs are as overweight as Gracie. I wonder what they're doing differently with her. Show me how you feed Gracie. Okay. She gets one of these scoops twice a day. Okay. And she just lays there and waits for it? Yes. She lays down when she's eating. She lays down while she eats? <laughs> wow. I, I wish I could lay in bed while someone fed me. I've seen dogs lay down to eat their food before, but typically it's when a dog is physically disabled to stand. I think she knows that that's ridiculous. She's got to, like, take a nap in between butts. <laughs> Gracie is so overweight that they're actually allowing her to lay down to eat her food. I've never seen anything like this. It blows my mind. Oh my gosh. She lays down when she's eating. Wow. And she's done that for how long? Well, after her knee surgery, she wasn't real mobile. Wow. And in her um, kennel, she and laid it, down and ate. And it just kind of became a bad habit. Because she's capable of standing up and eating, wouldn't you say? I, I you maybe think she isn't? I, you know, it's just, she's such an awkward shape. You know, I almost feel like she's so heavy, her legs just don't support her to stand up long enough to eat. All right, well, I think I've seen enough here. <laughs> Let's move on. I can't help Lisa and Madison get Gracie down to her ideal weight unless they understand how dangerously obese she is. It's so important for Madison and Lisa to see exactly how much she weighs compared to what she should weigh. Hey, Gracie. <laughs> a healthy max weight for a full breed chihuahua would be eight pounds. You ready to see how much she weighs? No. Wow. <laughs> 42 pounds. Oh my God. It's hard to be in denial when you see a number like 42 pounds. Did they tell you how big they thought she would be when you got her? Seven pounds at the most. So if she was supposed to be seven pounds and now she's 42 pounds, what does that number mean to you? It means she's probably never was a chihuahua, like we were told. Possibly. Overeating. Definitely. No exercise. Definitely no exercise. You say you do take her on some walks? We haven't lately just because of the weather, you know, when it was nice enough and we could get to the corner and back. Uh, let's readdress that. I'd like to see the walk and see what kind of struggles you're having and see if I can help. Okay. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Lisa says that Gracie can't walk on a leash, but I have a feeling it's not Gracie's fault. If Lisa believes that Gracie can't do it, She's not gonna do it. We're gonna have to get her out on a daily basis, but because you know she has those bad knees, we do have to be careful okay. uh, not to push her too far. Okay. Okay. I want to see what will happen when Lisa walks Gracie with confidence. Come on, Gracie. There we go. Relax that arm. Just now walk. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. That's a good girl. Anytime you feel that little tension, just encourage her. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Good girl. Yay. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, Gracie. You're doing so good. Well, she looks like she's having fun. She is. She likes to be outside. That's a good thing. I think she'd like to walk all day. I think she would, too. <laughs> oh, what a sweet girl. Gracie is still a young dog. She has so many years ahead of her. It's so important that I get Lisa and Madison on board if we want those years to be long, happy, and healthy. You know, we have to get Gracie down in weight, not just to help her overall health, but to get her to a point where she can have surgery on her other knee. Okay. If she doesn't, she's gonna reach a point where she won't be able to walk again. It makes me feel bad and guilty because we could have done a lot more about it, but we just didn't. The good thing is there's only one way to go and it's up, right? Literally from laying down to <laughs> up. Typically on a first meeting, I can address more issues at one time, but with Gracie, 
We have to start with baby steps. You know what this is? It's a... Gracie's gonna stand up and eat from now on. That's right. <laughs> I believe she can do it, don't you? Yes. Yeah. She may not like it, <laughs> but she can do it. I'll be working with a nutrition specialist to make sure that it is working towards the goal of getting her to an ideal weight okay. for her breed, which brings up another question. What is she? What is she exactly? We need to find out. I want to do a DNA test to find out what breed or breeds Gracie is so we can find out exactly what her target weight should be. The structure of her body, her framing is larger than a typical chihuahua. Right. It doesn't take away from the fact that she falls in the category of an obese pet. Right. Which is as bad as it gets. We realized that and the 42 pounds proved it. She has to lose the weight. Right. So I'm gonna put a daily exercise plan together. She has to get up and she has to get moving, especially if we want to get the one knee better and get her to a point where she can have the other one fixed. Not to put any pressure on you, but it's all gonna be on your shoulders. <laughs> the good thing is she has more weight on her shoulders than you have on yours. <laughs> so you have the easy lifting. She's really gonna be counting on you. She's like, oh man, they're gonna make me stand up to eat. <laughs> Gracie weighed in at 42 pounds. In the four months that I'll be working with them, Lisa and Madison should be able to get Gracie down to a target weight of 34 pounds. I left them with a standing food bowl with firm instructions not to allow her to lay down and eat any longer. Additionally, they need to walk Gracie 30 minutes a day, and I'm gonna be tracking them on the fit bark I left with them. I know you guys are gonna be able to do this. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be back to check in on you very soon. Thank you. We're in with his game plan. We're on board for anything he wants us to do. If we do, Gracie will be able to live her life to the fullest and won't it won't be cut short because she's obese and can't do anything. So I think it's just best to stick to it and get her to where she needs to be. Coming up on my Big Fat Pet Makeover. You ready to see what Bo weighs? I guess so. Oh. I think Bo Nugget has been doing fairly well, a lot better than I expected. Not feeding Bo as much as I was used to feeding him has been a little difficult for me. He's cried quite a bit. Yeah, he has meowed so much he was hoarse. <laughs> but I think over a period of time, he has stopped crying as much. And he loves his little feeding ball. He really has fun with that. Although, even when he bats the ball around, he'll run to his food and he lays down to eat it. I mean, the only <laughs> only exercise he's getting is with his paws, because he's not moving. He's just kind of doing this and, and eating I'm... and doing that and eating. He's not getting up and running around. Bo Nugget, there's food at the top. I love Bo's cat tree, I think, almost as much as he does, because I love being able to watch him go up and down the tree. It's so fun to watch him. Food! Wow. <laughs> His food is now up on top of his cat tree, and he knows he has to climb up all the way to the top to eat, and then he has to climb all the way back down. I, I know I'm not feeling his bowl completely, but there were a few days in there that I didn't actually measure it, so. <laughs> I didn't know about that. When I left Rick and Valerie a month ago, they were under strict orders to get Bow Nugget moving. Hi, Travis. Hi, Valerie. Come on in. Thank you. But I've been tracking his activity on the Fitbark, and I'm not seeing much of an improvement. I need to figure out what's going on. So I've been following Bo on his Fitbark, and I've noticed that he was lacking in exercise. Mm -hmm. How has that been going? He's been using the, the cat tree, and that is so great. And then the little food ball has been great. Show me how you would set it up and give it to Bo Nugget. Okay, just open it up so. Pretty much full, so he can. There, Bo. Bo Nugget. Now, do you push it for him like that all the time? Um, to start him on it, I do. Okay. He he's not a dumb cat. He learned all I got to do is kind of lay here and bat this thing with my paws, and I can eat all I want. So I think it's hilarious. And he doesn't even stand up. Why he do just... you Why do you think he only has to lay there and bat it, Valerie? Probably because I did. I open it to the full to the full size of the opening, because I, I was afraid that he just wouldn't keep working to get his food. Which would mean he might be full. Okay. All right, so we need to 
make it a little harder for him to get to his food simply by closing it off halfway. Okay. Okay? Bo. Bo, look here. Try that one. Oh. Nope, he got that a piece. Easy. And then he's gonna look at me and say, Mama, where's my food? Right. And you look and back you, and say, it's right there. And you say, it's right there. <laughs> Go work. Yeah. Get to work. There he goes. There you go. Oh, look at that. Out. Their senses are almost 14 times stronger than humans, so he knows there's food. Go, Bo. Get it. So this is a good example when you see Bo Nugget stop and think about it for a minute. It'd be just like us. If we had to work for every ounce of food that we ate, there'd come a point where we'd go, you know what, I'm not overly full or even completely full, but I'm tired of working for it, and you would stop. And if we did that every meal, we would be our ideal weight also. I've shown Rick and Valerie that if Bo Nugget's hungry enough, he can be motivated by food. And I can use this motivation to get him moving in other ways. If I can get Bo to cooperate, I have a really fun thing that might even get him moving more. Wow. <laughs> okay. Really? That's like a, that's a, treadmill like a hamster. For cats. That's like a <laughs> hamster wheel. I mean, do you think Bo Nugget will do it? Let's find out. You go grab All right, I'll, I'll try and find him. Wow. Me. Exercising cats can be a real struggle, especially an indoor cat like Bo Nugget. Here. Cats can be more difficult to exercise than dogs. They're very independent. Hey, what is it? Oh, he's noticing. What is it then? I'm curious. Oh, that's, oh. that's it. I've shown Valerie how to lure Bo onto the cat wheel, how to hold the treat or the reward in front of him to motivate him to walk. The rest is up to her. I thought we were gonna get to exercise together. I think he says that wheel looks like too much work. Moving forward, Rick and Valerie need to tighten up that food ball and stick to the one cup max per day of food. They also need to practice with the cat wheel to help Bo burn more calories. I'll be back in three months to see if Bo has lost the weight. Travis left us with a standing food bowl so she wouldn't lay down anymore to eat, and she's not enjoying it at all. So she's not eating as much as she usually did, which is good, I guess. Good girl. It's been easier than I thought taking Gracie on a walk. She is excited about going, and I know that it's the right thing to do for her. But I'm worried about Gracie's knees. I noticed that when she's walking, it shakes a lot. And we haven't gone past the 30 minutes of walking because Gracie will sit down and I have to give her a break and, and it's not a long walk. She sleeps better now that she's exercising more, but she does wake up panting. And I just worry about her heart and if I'm overworking her and I'm hoping to find out at the vet if it's just me being overprotective or something really wrong with her. We want to make Travis proud. Lisa and Madison are following the game plan, but Gracie isn't losing as much weight as we had hoped. I've set up a vet appointment to see if he can shed some light about what's going on with her. Also, I've done some research on Gracie's DNA. I think it's gonna be interesting to share with everybody. Her main problem is pretty obvious. She's just too fat. But she also has another underlying problem, and that is the fact that her thyroid gland isn't producing enough thyroid hormone. If you have too low thyroid, then you're gonna be sluggish, you don't wanna get up, you don't wanna do anything, and just lay around. Hypothyroidism is a condition where the thyroid gland isn't producing enough hormone. This isn't the reason that Gracie put on the weight, but it might be a reason why she isn't losing the weight. This is a very serious situation, and every ounce we lose is a step in the right direction. Okay. I wanted to show you her DNA results. To test Gracie's DNA, it was simply a matter of sending a saliva swab to the lab. I know Lisa was, you know, hoping that maybe she was this big because of her breed. So according to this, it says that Gracie is... So according to this, it says that Gracie is Chihuahua and American Eskimo. I always had my suspicions that Gracie was a mixed breed. She's frankly just too large frame to be a pure Chihuahua. The average weight range for an American Eskimo dog would be somewhere between 18 to 25. So 
even at her weight. And, and a chihuahua, three to six pounds, yeah. Three, yeah. four to eight pounds. Even with the dog she's mixed with, she's twice her weight. Well, maybe, maybe three times, <laughs> yeah. An obese Labrador loses three years of its life. If the brother's skinny and the sister's fat, then she's gonna die three years younger. So if we got her to a healthy weight, we could potentially add two to three years of her life. Absolutely, yeah, and they'd be good years. Yep. Yeah, she'd get around and run and play. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Okay. This has been very, very helpful. Uh, Lisa, I have uh, something fun for you and Gracie. Okay. So I think we can head on out. All right. Bye, Gracie. The meds that Dr. Huddleston prescribed for hypothyroidism should help a lot. Also, I have an idea to keep her moving for a longer period of time and take that weight off her joints. What do you think? This is exciting. This is nice. Yeah? Has Gracie ever been in the water before? She has. Yeah. Did she like it? Mm, sort of. OK. <laughs> I'm really hoping that Gracie likes to swim because a low to no impact exercise like this can literally be the difference between success and failure of her reaching her goal weight. So I just want to make sure that when I put her in that, you know, she's She's calm, you know, that okay. she's not freaking right. out. <laughs> well, I don't know if you're doing the piddle paddle, take her other way, or if she like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Introducing a dog to water is a very delicate thing to do. You know, if you force a dog into a pool, if you push a dog into a pool, that is a bad experience. Oh, you're gonna sit down even in the water? I feel good. So it's important that this is a fun and exciting experience for Gracie. Come on, good Gracie, girl. you can do it. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> you're doing so Come good. On. Come here, Gracie. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm so psyched that Gracie's loving the water. It is absolutely amazing. So let's have you go all the way to the end, and she can follow you all the way out. Because the Fitmark's water resistant, I'll be able to track how much activity Gracie has when she's in the pool. <laughs> Yay. 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 You did it. Give her lots of love. Yay. That's Gracie. amazing. Gracie was a better swimmer than she is a walker. I literally think she is smiling. I mean, when she came out of that pool, she was like a gazelle coming out of there. She literally was walking better when she came out than when she went in. What'd you think? That was great. She's good, <laughs> isn't she? She loves the water. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. <laughs> To kick Gracie's weight loss into high gear, Lisa and Madison must bring Gracie to the pool at least three times a week. They also need to give Gracie her thyroid medicine and continue with gentle walking when Gracie's up for it. When I'm back here in three months, I hope she's at her healthy target weight of 34 pounds. The first time I was here, Bo was extremely overweight. When Valerie was holding him, she had to set him down after less than a minute because he was so heavy. When he went down, he just plopped. I mean, he was just like, like this donut laying on the floor. I'm hoping that they stuck with it and he's been able to lose the weight. Hey, hey Travis. Travis. Hey, come on in. Thanks. Today, Travis is coming to check in on us and I'm really excited to show him my progress. Well, it's so great to be here. You guys yeah. look amazing. Thank well, you. Thanks. Did you lose weight? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we did. Yep. Oh. You've been running on the cat wheel? <laughs> <laughs> I've been running on the, on, on the road out You've there. You've been running? Okay, well, I can tell. You guys look fantastic. I mean, obviously, I haven't seen Bo yet, but what's changed with Bo? He, we can tell that he's lost weight because you can see bones you couldn't see previously. You know, his shoulders and his hips. And he's more active. He, he is. is. He yeah. is a lot more active. Tell me about active. Like, what, what are you seeing specific that's different? Well, I've gotten him to use the cat wheel. I'm excited to see Bo. Is he around? He oh, is he's around. here somewhere. Okay. Bo Nugget. Come hey. here, Bo. 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 Come here. Aw, <laughs> come on, Bo. Come on, kitty, kitty. Come here, Bo. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come, come here, Bo. On. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come on. See how thin he is? <laughs> Seeing Bo for the first time, I don't think he looks that different. But Rick and Valerie are convinced that he's lost weight. There's only one way to find out, and that's to get him on the scale. Oh, good Look boy. Look at that. Look at you. Yeah. Hey, Bo. All right, ready? 
first time I was here, Bo Nugget weighed 23.5 pounds. His four month target weight was 17 pounds. You ready to see what Bo weighs? I guess so. Oh. Bo Nugget started out at a whopping 23 and a half pounds. I set a four month target weight for him of 17 pounds. You ready to see what Bo weighs? I guess so. He lost two pounds. He did. Bo Nugget only lost two pounds, but that means the scale is moving in the right direction, which means Rick and Valerie have finally bought in to what I asked them to do. I know he didn't reach his goal of 17 pounds, but he has lost weight. Have you noticed any other changes? I mean, two pounds for a 23 pound cat. Well, that's like 10% of his body weight. That's right. And that would be like me before I started losing weight. That would be me losing 24 pounds. Sure. And I would, I would be happy with 24 pounds. Don't be discouraged by this. He's losing weight. We're on the right track. We know the things that we need to add into the process to get you where you want to be. And I need to see this cat wheel in action. Rick and Valerie are disappointed that Bo is not at his target weight yet. But the bright side is they're exercising him now. Valerie says he's even been using the cat wheel. I want to see that. I put the treat down like this, try to get him interested. And good boy, oh. good boy, come on. What? Good boy. <laughs> Can you amazing. believe this? Isn't yeah. this great? Keep him going, come on, that's Bo. awesome. Come on, buddy, come Yay. on. Come on, buddy, come on, buddy, come on, Bo. <laughs> come on, Bo. Oh, oh, like yeah, he's like, he's gonna turn into a triathlete. <laughs> Seeing Bo on the cat wheel, it's so exciting. The fact that Valerie found it in herself to believe that Bo could do it and believe that she could get Bo to do it. This is an amazing moment. I'm so happy. Bo Nugget is very persistent, and it was difficult initially to limit his food. But I've worked through that, and so now just getting to see the rewards, seeing him be more active, um, is it was worth it. For added motivation, I worked with Chewy.com to put together some really great tools to help Bo continue down his journey. Wow. Great. Because I know he hasn't met his target goal, but I know you can do it. And because you still have work to do, this is going to help you. Gosh, that's great. All right. So good luck. And I'm going to leave you to Thank it. Thank you. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks, Travis. Nice yes. work, you guys. Thanks, Travis. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Bone Nugget. Bye. Oh. <laughs> so now I'm headed to see Lisa, Madison, and most importantly, Gracie. Gracie is one of the most extreme obese cases I've ever seen. I'm really hoping that Gracie has lost the weight. If not, her future doesn't look good. Hey, Travis. Hi, Hi Lisa. Lisa. Today, Travis is coming, and I really hope Gracie has done well enough to go on with her knee surgery. Catch me up on what's been going on. How's the process been? She's been doing real well. She's taking her walks every day, loves her swimming. Now she's swimming with a no life jacket. No life jacket? No life jacket. Really? Yep. Have you seen her swimming? I went with her a couple times. You did? Yeah. Were you surprised? Yeah, I actually was. She went right in without any help. <laughs> Is she standing up to eat? She's still standing up and All eating. All right, good, good. <laughs> well, I've been following on the Fit Bark, mm -hmm. and she's been hitting her goals, and I just couldn't be happier to this point. So I'm ready to see this new Gracie. She's in my room. I can go get her. Yeah, go get her. Lisa and Madison are confident that she's lost weight. I'm interested to see if she has, and hopefully, visually, I'll be able to tell. She's coming. Gracie, <laughs> hi. How are you doing? Hi. No limping. No. Wow. And no ring around the collar. <laughs> what? Well, literally, the collar is coming off. You need a new collar. Gracie's lost weight. I can tell. She's moving fast and has extra energy. I want to see how much she weighs. When I first met Gracie, she weighed 42 pounds. I set a four month target weight for her at 34 pounds. Ready to see what Gracie weighs? Yes. 
Gracie weighs 34.5 pounds. Wow. Yes, you did it. <laughs> yeah. You did it. That's amazing. <laughs> so that means that she lost seven and a half pounds. That's awesome. I'm so happy she's moving in the right direction. But more importantly, I want to see that she really does have this extra energy. Gosh, she's doing so good. That's really good. She does really well. Yeah, she does. She's moving. Lisa and Madison are loving her through quality time, through affection, through exercise. That's exactly what Gracie needs to get where she needs to go. Yeah, Bring her Gracie, on back. Come on, come on, Gracie. Come on, Gracie. I have no doubt that she's going to get to her target weight. She's going to get this second knee surgery, and she's going to live a very happy and healthy longer life. Nice job. <laughs> Good, Good job. job awesome. I'm so impressed. That's not the same no. Gracie that was here the last time. She's not that old lady <laughs> anymore, is she? I think she's getting closer to fitting into that bikini. She is. <laughs> One walk at a time. You've done great with Gracie's weight loss. She's getting really, really close. Close enough that Dr. Huddleston said just a few more pounds and she's where she needs to be for that second knee surgery. And that's one of our biggest goals because once she gets that and that weight is off, we have a very happy and healthy Gracie, which is our biggest goal. Great job. Thank you. I'm really grateful to Travis for what he's done for Gracie. I think he saved her life.